Winner's Tilt is a thing where you're not focused and you make mistakes. Let's go, Grand Final. Well, let's go ahead and Petro see if he and can Mohamed can avoid that Winner's Tilt. The most player is using Earthquake right now. No, I think they have got Petro who is using Stubborn Fireball. And Mohamed Lion. And yet you see just trying to kind of reset himself right now, Juicy, is Pedro. Yeah, one thing we didn't really talk about is extra bragging rights for this match, right? You know, if Muhammad Light wins this game on Twitter, she'll be like, okay, Muhammad Light's giving out golden tickets. If Pedro can somehow manage to beat Muhammad Light in these next two best of threes, he has 100% guaranteed himself just the Ooh, idea of, I guess. won this golden ticket. No one gave it to me. And that would certainly be a big feather in his cap. Does have to win two sets, as we mentioned before. Since Muhammad Light has not lost yet, he's in the winner's bracket. He still has the life to give. So a big hill to climb, even if it was one best of three for Pedro. Has to do it twice. And of you course, know, he's, uh, Pedro, he got a golden ticket. A few minutes ago today. He got, uh, you know, Muhammad Light, he got golden ticket. Yes, sir. Two months like ago. Two months ago. EQ the last month. He, he comes from Pedro, but he got, a, he got the golden ticket already. Overall, and the last man, you know, the golden ticket is... And uh, the other thing to look at here uh, is the money uh, miners for Argentine. Like we talked about, the money miners are definitely the champion of choice here. Valkyrie not nearly going to get as much value. Um, not to mention the Musketeers as well. After the money miners are the champ, a lot of that Musketeer. Sick test things in the like this just because the big three player doesn't get much value at all versus her. Valk in front of the Arch Queen of the left hand lane and similar idea with the Mighty Miner in front of the Musketeer opposite side. Oh. High mortar. EQ will get there as the hogs are gonna try to get past that DPS should be sufficient to shut it down. Guards here in the middle in front of tower as well. It's gonna be a nice defense. Arch Queen getting some value on the left, but it's not much. And we can see how Muhammad Light is already leveraging this match advantage yeah, yeah, for the damage key, advantage. Snowball. Going in for another Hog Guards combo. Snowball, a great thing versus Hog Guards. But hell? it still what finds a way hog? to connect. How we have so much damage? Oh, I'm sure. And then he will hit the ball all out hard. So, yeah, Hog Rider does get the connection. 1976, the lead opening up. <sighs> I don't, up here I don't think yeah. Muhammad Light. Muhammad Light will see win now, this again, game. Pedro just like two, zero. working to two, regain zero. his focus as we get deeper into this one. Interesting Inferno here. You know, it's an okay idea. Why not to using have an Arrow right now? Inferno Why not? To have you want to keep to Arrow over, over. What? But, you know, it's already dead. And Arrow, like we talked about, the Inferno is just a very expensive card. He does cycle back to another one with his three card cycle. But the Earthquake chip is coming through. And that's all Muhammad Light needs to continue to do. The more earthquakes he gets down, the further he will extend this lead. Speaking of that, though, Pedro's starting to come back a little bit with that Hog Rider connection. A very important Hog Rider connection. They're keeping us now just over 300 HP as the separator. But keep in mind, Mo does have dual lane pressure, as often is the case. Nine five degrees. With the Pharaoh himself, oh, no. minute and 13 seconds left for Pedro to find his way back in this one. Funky Hog. Hog, Valk at no. the bridge, guards, and Log Let's on the work. defense. No mortar and cycle, maybe, or just maybe choosing not Must to use it. Me. This Hog Rider is connecting. The Archer Queen ability is popping. And that oh, towers so down to 11 push. 14. So Pedro, beautiful with the push. damage advantage for the first time this game. Very big now mortar in cycle. Snowball plus the guards will take care of the opposite hog rider. And just like that, it seems the momentum has swung a fair bit. Mighty Miner will create some important pressure. And keep in mind that that right hand tower is in play. Come on. With that thousand bit of damage snowball. already where, 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 on that side. Here we go. Hog trying to break through for Mohammed Light. Hog, snowball no one shots. will shut that one down. But the one more advantage what? very slim right damage. now for Pedro who's going to have to contend with a little body blocking here. And wow, we are razor thin, 18 seconds left. Wait, Hawk. Arch Queen on the defense, here comes the guards, Hog at the bridge, guards on the defense here as well. EQ down, along with the Hog connection. What? One more? No way. Absolutely. Inferno Tower is there, and Mo has to say good game. Pedro comes out and gets wow. a good game one, and now has a chance to send us to a bracket reset. Game one is down, like you said. I mean, that was insane. I can't believe 
the I mean I, there's got to be some sort of inaccuracy there by Muhammad Light taking way too many hog hits uh, in the middle and end game of the, that mash, allowing Pedro to make this massive comeback. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Well played to Pedro. He did a great job there. That's Pedro has to be very happy two. also that he won that with the snowball if variant Petro of Hog win, Rider. So he has log available for something else. We might we be seeing that log come out here as an ice spirit. No, come it's on, come on, Benny, 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 with that one and minor bats has already given Pedro some see, fits and starts well, today. Like, see me and I, we'll see if Mohamed Light continues I to try to take advantage as Pedro has been, been prone that. to overextending himself in some of these matchups. Absolutely. We've seen almost zero success from this Mega Knight Prince deck, minor deck that we see Mohamed Light using at the top here. But I think that might be a little bit different in this case. A lot of the time the Mega Knight Prince Especially if you have a zap, the Mighty Miner can perform quite well versus control decks like Pedro's using you. Ooh, we got an Electro with us. Damn. And here we go, Fireball. No way, come there. on, He was willing Bastille. to pop on the right-hand side. Miner yeah. goes to the back, MK oh, and Bats IDT. taken care of by a nice Mighty Bats Miner Bats. ability. Yeah. But still, I more than halfway through our opening chunk of time, the and counter and Pedro has not yet put it's any damage on the towers of Mohammed Light. Well, this is timing. exactly what happened the, in the previous yeah. game. Yes. Pedro calls the GG zone. Maybe he's not confident his ability to come back in this specific matchup. Um, well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I think that it's not impossible. He just needs to have some better defense going forward and try and sneak through with some drills. Okay, I guess I didn't really realize the win condition until now, but Pedro is using Drill, and Mega Knight is just so good versus that. We'll see if there's any way to create any real damage here. Mega Knight not in cycle at all. Evis comes out. Goblin Drill will get some damage on that left-hand lane, and things are certainly closer now bomb tower to pick Ooh, up the wall breakers in the middle one bat escaping no, does get picked up by the princess tower with he wins defense. no connection here drill on the left hand side mega knight is in cycle it's going to come down right now there it goes going to be a zero damage taken defense goblins on defense versus Keep the bandit on the right but here comes the mega knight kind of push yep, pedro's got a lock step step in and to buckle care, up care. for this one and prediction okay, arrows from here. Mohammed Light for the goblins. Goblins do not come down. Ice Spirit, is there oh, a wait, log wait, wait. available? Ooh, yes, there is. Cleaned up. But the defense. elixir advantage pretty heavily for Mohammed Light. We do have a mighty miner on the board, though, for Pedro, who's already called good game here. Seems to already think this one is over, but not abandoning the fight quite yet. Electro is getting some nice value versus the mighty miner, as always. Musketeer trying to make something up on the right. And it tries to attack that. The Ice Spirit does a good job. Here comes the counter push. Log hits some of this stuff, but there's a lot of chip damage coming through on both sides. And still calling good game here. Pedro. Showing some frustration at this stage. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of the time in Clash Royale, sometimes the matchup matters more than the gameplay. Speaking of gameplay here, though, a lot of mistakes micro-wise here. From Pedro, and this is just allowing for the minor connections, the pre arrows, What's the bandit the connection, everything textbook from Muhammad Light. Pedro gonna finalize the good game mantra we've seen throughout this he match with the fireball log. Pedro, and the he, and he, he tried his absolute darndest, but that's game. that was certainly a, a tough situation for that's Pedro. Game. So, here we go into game number three in the first two games. Log EQ arrows out for Mohammed Light. Five thousand dollars. We've seen him run a lot of each hit so far throughout this one. Fireball don't EQ don't log lose. snowball don't all gone. Lose. Arrows available, lightning available, poison available. Does Pedro go minor poison here? Or does he go comfort with this big game on the line? You know, it's a good question. I think you're absolutely right. There it is. Minor coming through. First play, Mohammed Light with the skeleton to tank for it. 
Maybe not exactly what we were looking for. Not minor poison, but gonna be the minor mortar spam arrows deck instead going against Mo, most likely using Roll a Giant here. And the emotional come down for Pedro still seeming to be a factor. Absolutely, Poison getting some value here on the Flying Machine part barrel. A little bit misplaced for Mo here, missing one of the archers. Going to be allowing some pretty consistent shift damage, taking the tower down to 25-39. And looks like I was wrong about Muhammad Light's deck, by the way. It's not going to be Royal Giant, not the Tombstone Royal Giant that we've seen so much of. But instead, the Skelly King Goblin at Graveyard. This is the second time we've seen this deck today, but one of the most popular decks in the meta. And if there weren't enough goblins on the board already, Pedro drops some more right in front of the, the hot spawns there. And here comes the interaction change that we've seen so much of. As you notice there, some of the spear gods just ignoring the cannon card there, locking on the tower, and that is due to the range buff. A little bit unpredictability from those goblins nowadays. But that's why the goblin is so strong. Always getting chip damage, it seems, no matter what. Here comes the mortar from Pedro on the left hand side, trying to maybe make use of this elixir range a couple nice shots in for pedro on the left hand lane and just like that he's got good pressure on both sides clean on the bottom left hand tower for pedro right hand side down to 25 85 normally pedro we win, please. The and we will have dual lane damage much. this time it's pedro please he's getting both sides under duress absolutely archers coming down for the goblin here Something I didn't really talk about yet, guys, is Pedro, no big spell once again. Nothing for this goblin hunt. No Mother Witch either. Definitely puts Mo in a pretty solid situation here. Just because the arrows are necessary for so many different things you need for the goblin hunt, the rascals, and the Skelly King ability, and the graveyard, it's a very tough situation to be in. And there you go, seeing the arrows, maybe trying to make room for this cannon cart to put pressure on. Ooh, ooh, and there you go, cannon the cart is, has to have a response on the right. And Rascal. so does the mortar. Rascals plus goblins will do the job, and the cannon cart breaks down early. Mortar does get that shot off. It's a pretty My huge shot coming. there, killing the rascals. Goblin coming down for the defense. Pedro putting down some very nice pressure here, forcing out another defensive poison. Miner's gonna come through. No Skelly King ability, and the goblins do pick up. Looks scary, but Mo's got his defense on lock. So here we go. Sudden death overtime. Petrol should the try right to attack on my over over 300 HP right. for Pedro. Mortar at the bridge. Goblin Hunter defends. Going to distract the mortar shot so it doesn't hit anything. Flying Sheen in the middle trying to snipe that Phoenix. Poison once again. Always being used in the Flying Sheen here. And I really like that idea and that macro decision from Muhammad Light. You continually do that. The Flying Sheen is the only real Last way that Pedro try. can get a Good lot job. of damage. Uh, arrows. And this time arrows to work on little damage on the right hand side plus one rascal girl king skelly king activation early here just to win this bridge fight flying machine deep in his own territory poison this time will get triple value here flying machine cannon cart plus tower as pedro mortars to the opposite lane where does the opposite lane arrows come out on the rascals and goblins there though Skelly King has to drop to grab Mother that mortar. Mother cannot shot to Pedro also going to make use of the souls on the map here to fill up his own Skelly King. So try to uh, uh, get more damage from the more minor. With the three card cycle of the uh, Skelly King and a pretty poison on the cannon card. He's looking good. good here. He seems comfortable. Try to get damage from this is the moment for Pedro to kind of push with the flying machine that would go to the cycle. And here he goes. Maybe 10 seconds left. Flying machine hit. Minor and try to go to the inside. Up. Try to pull the Phoenix across, I guess. Archers up high. No way to break through. It seems second flying machine down. Scarby to split poison. Not available for this flying arrow? machine. We don't have arrow right now. 25 seconds Time's left. Here comes the first graveyard of the game. Barbarian going to be tanking for the graveyard. Huge counter push on the left. Arrows no do way. get Why not? out on the defense though. And now the rascals We're are a huge exactly. defensive option for Mo. He uses less. the Skelly King ability instead though. But he got the Phoenix from that flying machine. No issues there. Only eight seconds left. Right, and and the mortar does Nobody for zero can stop you. Nobody game. can stop you. And, you uh, are the best. Victory overall victory. for Pedro, but you the are bigger the story. Nobody can believe stop it or not, stop you. for the first time Nobody. we have someone Nobody. winning the monthly final. Not one, not two, not just three times, three times in a row. And Mohammed Light.